Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you for the love and the support. So, my beautiful people, today I have a quick one to share with you. One that's a normal session never and see. There is every reason why you need to subscribe to Progress the Analyst because here yeah, we bring all the updates to you back to back. Do you know that the Biafra football team is about to kick off this year? See, I don't really want to talk too much because all the update is here. Meanwhile, the legal representative to Mazinam, the Kanu, they are still saying the DSS has not allowed them to visit Mazinam, the Kanu since. September 24, 2023, the last court hearing to date, they haven't set their eyes on Mazi in Adekanu. What could have happened? Please follow up the audit and do it to share it. And I'll be right back. Hey, fellow Bia friends all over the world, I come this morning with a very great news to announce to the Biafra people that the Biafra national football team will be playing first ever international game representing the confederate state of biafra this month just before we go to our finland convention pray for them so they are gonna win and it's gonna be a good start okay put the gike those who think that biafra will not come look around yourself what do you see? What do you see? Look at my eyes. What do you see? Nigeria is gone. We are freeing our people from the shackles of the Islamic State chain called Nigeria. From the terrorist state called Nigeria. Biafra is going. And I am leading Biafra out of Nigeria. The main liberation of Biafra will begin on the 2nd of December 2024. May God bless you. Support this movement so history will be kind to you. Thank you. Distinguished members of the media, this is a brief press encounter by the members of the legal team of Mazin Land, the Kanu, and the media people concerns primarily what happened yesterday at the Federal High Court. Yesterday, because of the serial and consistent disobedience of the orders of Justice Binta Montella Nyako regarding the council visitation to Mazin and the Kano, the Federal High Court Registrar issued a Form 49. A Form 49 is a notice issuing to the defaulter, to the contemnor, the person in contempt of court, the person disobeying the order to come to court and show cause why he should not be committed to prison for disobedience of court order. This happened yesterday, and I shall release the transcript to the media after this press conference. Now, the idea we got, it is very self-evident that the DSS, the DG of the DSS, Mr. Adeola Oluwatoshi Ajayi, is not acting in vacuum. He's acting on the authority of an advice, legal advice, rendered to him by the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation and their private lawyer, Ashwaju Adibuega Awomolo, SAL. That legal advice is this, that by virtue of the recusal of Justice Binta Nyako, from Mazin Namdekano's case, all the orders she made in relation to that case are now null and void. They actually took a step by filing a court process at the Court of Appeal stating the same thing, that all the orders issuing from Justice Binta Nyako are now null and void. Evidently, that legal advice has not been retracted. 
and that is why the new DG of DSS, Mr. Ajayi, is refusing us, lawyers from Mazin Namdekano, from having any visitation whatsoever with him as ordered by the court. You will recall that Justice Bin Tanyako ordered that counsel to Mazin Namdekano, the legal team, should be given a three day visitation regimen every week, which are supposed to be on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But since 27 September and the pursuant or after the recusal of Justice Bintan Nyako, DSS has consistently refused us entrance into the facility to see Mazin Namdekano. And in fact, on 23rd, which was on Wednesday, we were barricaded. We were stopped at the very first gate of DSS from even going inside. This is a travesty of justice. When you disobey the order of court, no court should take it lying low. And this was why the Registrar of the Federal High Court issued that notice to Mr. Ajayi yesterday. Now, let me say this. When they file this legal process in court, seeking to nullify all the orders issuing for Justice Binta Nyako, we did not go to sleep. We also filed a counter process in response, stating to the court that if, in fact, the orders issued by Justice Nyako, Nyako are now null and void, then the, that sh must include, as a matter of logic, it must include the very order she issued, which was the first one that led to the remand and detention of Mazin Namdekano. So if, it's the gov if the government is now arguing that the order of visitation is no longer valid by virtue of that recusal, then the order of detention shall also not be valid. This is our argument. So we use this opportunity to make the point that the continuing, this continuing misconduct by the DSS, which is unconstitutional, is the number one thing that is complicating the trial of Mazen and the Ghana that they so much desire. Pray, how can you try a man? How can you subject a man to trial for capital offenses when you do not allow his lawyers to see him? This is why we're opposed to trial. But they make it look like we are unwilling to stand trial. No, we are not. We are willing. But the constitutional cons considerations or constitutional conditions, requirements, before a trial can ensue must be present. And the most important one, and which is overriding, is our client's right to fair trial. You cannot have fair, fair trial in the absence of lawyers having access to the defendant to prepare him for trial. So this notice that was issued yesterday has become the climax of this serial contempt of orders of court by the DSS. And we don't think, and we never expected, that the new director a well-educated man like Mr. Ajayi, which I understand to be a lawyer, should inherit the whatever uh, bad legacy that was left at that DSS by, 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 by the predecessor, by the departing DG, BG. So we expected him to act better and to act within the confines of the law. So this is why we decided but we should shed light on this. You are going to receive uh, details of that in your emails later on. Thank you. Then so, my beautiful family, that brings us to the end of this of the do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. I still remain your one and only progress the analysis. I always bring out the update to you back to back. See, <laughs> if not for progress the analyst, no one is. The reason you need to subscribe and always do it to share our videos because more updates on the way coming. Thank you and bye bye.